Hello everyone. The title of this talk is Algebraic Attacks on Astar and Dastar Using Low Degree Equations. This is a joint work with Stanton Sakar, Willie Mayer, and Takanori Isobe. Recently, there is a trend to design symmetric key primitives friendly to applications like secure multi-party computation, fully homomorphic encryption, and zero-knowledge proof systems. Rstar is a fully homomorphic encryption-friendly design proposed at Crypto 2018. The overall structure is depicted in this figure. Specifically, for our rounds of Rstar, it will iterate a round function composed of a fine layer and a nonlinear layer for R terms. Then, one more fine layer is applied to the output. Finally, the key is XORed with the output, and the key stream Z is generated. A notable feature of Rstar is that the, non the fine layers are ever-changing for each to be encrypted plaintest block. In other words, each key stream Z is generated with a different concrete Rstar instance. This is quite different from the common symmetric key cryptographic designs, where the linear layers Nonlinear layers and the round constants are all fixed. Let me give a brief introduction of the R star round function. The fine layer is uh, is generated in this way. First, uh, use the plain test block uh, use the plain test block counter C and uh, announce in as the input to an XOF, for example, check two five six. Second, use the output of the XOF to construct a random for rank linear matrix M of size n times n and a random n bit round constant Rc for each round. Then, the matrix M and the round constant Rc will form the affine layer A. Different from the affine layer, the nonlinear layer of R star is fixed, and it is indeed the n bit chi operation. Note that uh, the file bit chi operation is used in the Kachak round function. The designers recommended a set of parameters for the block size n, the security level copper, and the number of rounds R. Indeed, the choice of these parameters is based on the resistance against the linearization attack, which will be detailed later. In addition, I have to emphasize that the key size is the same with the block size. Therefore, according to this table, it can be found that the key size is much larger than the claimed security level kappa. For example, we can fo focus on the first, the first, uh, uh, first. Uh, Row of this table, the key size is 327, while the designers only claim 80 bit security. Moreover, it should be noticed that there is a limit on the number of plain text blocks for each n bit key. Apart from the above parameters, the designers also proposed three aggressive parameters where uh, the security level copper is almost the same with the key size n. Uh, they are called H R star. The same uh, the same data limit also holds for H R star, and there is no attack can break any of them with such a data limit. As for Duster, it can be viewed as a variant of R star. In a world different from Rstar using ever changing linear layers, Dasta adopts a deterministic dense for rank linear transform matrix L. The Dasta primitive was proposed at TUSEC 2020. The overall structure of Rstar and Dasta are the same, as, deputed, as shown in this figure, so they all, both of them use the feed forward operation. The nonlinear layer of Dastar is the same with the R star, and so they are, both of them use the M bit calibration. However, 
the linear layer is redesigned in Duster. Specifically, the linear layer is now composed of a fixed linear transform L and an error changing bit permutation P. Uh, the, so the bit permutation P will depend on the round number and the plain text block counter C. So our attack is irrelevant to the uh, details of the permutation P. So uh, I mean, so our attacks can work for any bit permutation. So I will not uh, detail the specification of P. There are two main features of Duster. First, uh, no pseudo random number generator is used. Second, there is no need to generate random full rank matrices. The Duster designers propose the same parameters as Duster, except the one whose block size is too large as listed in this table. So they are the the they, they also use the uh, so Duster also use the same data limit as Duster. Now I'll describe the analysis of Duster. Note that the same analysis also applies to Duster because they are in general the same design. The most challenging problems to analyze Duster are listed here. First, it is a moving target. Second, traditional techniques like differential linear cube and high order differential attacks or fail because they require to collect many plain test cipher test pairs on a fixed encryption instance. However, this is not the case for Arstar because each keystream D is generated with a different concrete instance. However, there are also some notable exploitable features. First, the degree of the nonlinear operation, the calibration is two. So the degree of the round function is low. Second, the number of rounds is small. At the last, there is a feed forward operation, which implies that a meet in the middle style attack may work. Or in all, the algebraic attack seems potential for the low degree of the uh, for the low degree of the round function and uh, the small number of rounds. Their designers are obviously aware of it. Indeed, the choices the, the choices of the parameters are based on the resistance against the linearization attack. There's no doubt that the linearization attack is the simplest algebraic attack. The procedure is rather simple. First, the attacker collects t equations in terms of n variables, and the degree of these equations is upbounded by t. Then, if the number of equations is larger than the total number of different terms formed by the n variables, he can rename all the terms of degree larger than 1 with new variables. Finally, the problem is equivalent to solving a system of linear equations where the number of equations is larger than the number of unknowns, which can be easily solved by Gaussian elimination. Obviously, the degree d will dominate the time complexity of the linearization attack. A smaller d, the lower the time complexity of the Gaussian elimination and the attack. Let us uh, see how the designers evaluated the resistance against the linearization attack. As the degree of the calibration is too in the forward direction, for our rounds of R star, the degree of the key stream Z in terms of the key bits is upper bounded by 2 to the R. Hence, the attacker will need to solve a system of nonlinear equations in terms of N unknowns and of degree upper bounded by 2 to the R. As already said, the degree will have a big influence on the time complexity of the attack. Thus, it is natural to ask whether it is possible to lower the degree to 2 the R by using a meet in the middle style structure. However, is it really possible? Is it really 
feasible to consider the back direction? Due to the feed forward direction, it is easy to observe that the output of the last car operation can be written as linear expressions in terms of the qubits. In other words, the degree of the output can be uh, treated as one. In addition, the input of the last car operation is uh, of degree upper bounded by, up bounded by 2 to the r minus 1. Although the degree of the output of the last car operation is 1, the degree of the inverse of the largest scale car operation is rather high, so it is a well-known fact. Hence, if we simply consider its inverse, the degree of equations will be much higher than 2 to the r, and we can benefit nothing from uh, such a kind of equations. The time complexity of the attack will only increase, not decrease. Indeed, this, it, this is exactly what the designers thought, and hence they gave up, uh, they directly gave up such a mid in the middle style attack. It is too costly to consider the inverse of the cooperation. This is a summary of what I explained just now. Uh, the analysis indicates that we should never consider the full inverse of the cooperation. Then, how should we, uh, how should we analyze R star? It can be found from our tape paper that our used method is surprisingly simple. So I think it is more helpful to explain how we find the simple improved linear ratio attacks. We are inspired by the study on the 3-bit low MC S-box, which is defined below. So the degree is also 2. Then the authors of that paper described how to generate more linearly independent quartic equations for this 3-bit S-box. The idea uh, has already been known uh, and uh, we are has already been known and used in the Werner XOR algorithm. Specifically, for the output bit y0, we can multiply x1 and x2 with both sides of the equation, and we will again get two different quadratic equations because the only quadratic term in the expression of y0 is x1, x2. Similar strategies can also be applied to uh, can also be applied to the output bit y1 and y2. Moreover, we have two additional quadratic equations generated with different ideas. Thus, we consider to eliminate the cubic term x0, x1, x2, as shown in the last two equations in this slide. So to do so, we have to consider two different output bits. So Combined with the inverse of the 3-bit S-box, there are in totally there are in total 14 linearly independent quadratic equations to describe the low MC S-box. Based on similar procedure, we first write uh, we first list the n quadratic Boolean equations for the n-bit cooperation. Then we can simply derive some quadratic equations by multiplying proper uh, by multiplying proper variables with both sides, as, a, as shown in the last two, as shown in the last two equations in this slide. Then we ask ourselves whether there are other ways to generate quadratic equations in 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 other forms. This is a natural question because we can uh, have two additional quadratic equations generated in different ways for the low MC S box. So whether this also uh, so whether this also uh, so whether we can do the same for the collaboration uh, it's worth investigating. Then uh, 
we observe that we can consider two consecutive output bits of the cooperation. This is also inspired by the way to generate the two additional quadratic equations for the low MCS box. So uh, that's uh, we we have to consider two different output bits by looking into two consecutive output bits of the cooperation. We find a quadratic equation in a quite different form. That's yi plus xi and yi plus 1 equals to 0. Specifically, different from the uh, quadratic equations uh, in this slide, so the last two equations in this slide, the input bits of the cooperation will no more multiply with each other. What does this equation imply? First, uh, we should note that xi is the input bit of the cooperation, while yi is the output bit of the cooperation. Second, we should also note that the expression of xi is of degree 2 to the r minus 1, while the degree of the expression is 1. Hence, although the largest scale cooperation is not fully inverted, uh, we can obtain an equation in terms of the qubits whose de degree is upper bounded by 2 to the r minus 1 plus 1, which is smaller than 2 to the r and the degree of the inverse of the cooperation. By simply using the above quadratic equation, we can greatly reduce the degree of the equations used for the linearization attack on R star. As illustrated in this figure, specifically, uh, the degree is reduced from 2 to the R to 2 to the R minus 1 plus 1. Note that uh, we do not fully invert the cooperation. Instead, we only carefully investigate the relations between certain input bits and output bits. So that's why we use a dashed line in this figure. Uh, so, for, so when R is large, we can see that this is a great reduction in the algebra degree. For example, when r equals to 6, the degree of the equation is reduced from 34 to 30, uh, it's reduced, the degree of the equation is reduced from 64 to 33. This equation also implies that the linearization attack will be improved by one more round because attacking our round R star with the new quadratic equation is now equivalent to attacking R minus 1 R star with the trivial linearization attack that's solving a system of nonlinear equations of degree 2 to the R minus 1 plus 1 in terms of n variables. Then, another question natural uh, arises. Can we find other similar useful equations? If so, how to find them? To answer this question, we should first understand what kind of equations are useful to improve the attack. To do so, uh, we first make a definition for the exploitable equation. An equation is defined as uh, the exploitable equation is defined as an equation where the input bits of the cooperation are only allowed to form linear terms or quadratic terms with the output bits. Finding exploitable equations is indeed not that difficult because we already know the constraint on their form. We can use a three-step method. First, we consider a small-scale cooperation. For example, n is 7, 9, 11, or, and 13. 
Then we use a similar technique to find quantitative equations for an S-box to find exploitable equations for the small-scale collaboration. Finally, uh, we check whether the found exploitable equations also hold for the collaboration of any size. The five exploitable equations used in this paper are listed here. Uh, note that equation 1 has, has already been widely used in the pre-media attack on Kachark. However, it is always interpreted in a different way in that context. So, uh, in other words, uh, so, so the, its form does not attract too much attention. As for Duster, we find that the attack can be further optimized due to the usage of a deterministic linear layer air. In a word, we can only, uh, by only guessing one output bit of the inverse of the last linear transform air, based on equation two, we can construct a system of nonlinear equations in terms of the key bits and uh, of degree two to the r minus one rather than 2 to the r minus 1 plus 1 from many plane test cipher test pairs. So, in a sense, that star is weaker than R star. In summary, uh, so this is a summary of our results. First, based on the improvements of the linearization attack, we directly a broke two out of three instances of HR star. Second, the generic linearization attacks on R star and dust star are all improved by one more round for most instances. Second, third, uh, dust star is weaker than R star, thus violating the designer's claim. In concluding, our analysis sheds new insights into the large-scale cooperation. Moreover, our analysis also sheds new insights into how to analyze the ASTA-like primitives. Finally, we significantly improve the linearization attacks on ASTA and DASTA. Moreover, we believe that it is interesting to further investigate whether it is possible to construct nonlinear equations of lower degree for the Asta family. If it is feasible, we may even break uh, Asta and Dasta. That's all. Thank you.